our next speaker. Uh, for those of you who listen to Skeptics of the Pub online will know I am terrible at pronouncing things. So uh, I'm not even going to bother trying. His name's Serdar. Which <laughs> Serdar? Please welcome Serdar to the stage. Okay, guys. Uh, hello. I hope uh, that will be a good quid for everyone. Uh, I'm going to t uh, talk about some strange internet hoax uh, from Turkey. Uh, but I'll start with hoaxes from history. So there has been hoaxes uh, from like centuries before, and uh, it's going automatically, by the way. <laughs> there has been going uh, strange hoaxes Whoa. in time. And, uh, anyway, I will handle. Uh, it, because they have been like, people believing these stories, these strange stories, because they were believing in uh, those storytellers of the time, uh, journalists, news channels, or even the technology itself. Some of these stories have been told like uh, for good purposes. Some were like specifically targeting conspiratorial minds of people like this uh, alternative tree uh, from uh, 70s as a, a April Fool's joke, but taken seriously because it was broadcasted a little bit late. Uh, it was talking about a secret government plot, as always. And uh, another one is a certain uh, staged ritual, ritualistic sac sacrifice in front of CERN. And many people were expecting such a thing, including Alex Jones. We should be able to differentiate hoaxes and reality. And even the brightest ones, not this jerk, but even the brightest ones are able to do that, right? Uh, but the real question is, how, what is the level of stupidity we need uh, so people can understand joke and uh, the reality? And Contorium uh, might be an answer because shortly it was a, it was goofing around uh, a conspiracy related to, to a non-existing made-up metal or crystal or something like that, and it was so obvious that even the name was fabricated for like stupidity. It's uh, you cannot create a file or folder in Windows older Windows named Khan. That's the first part. The second part is coming from Torium. You may know about uh, spam meters, probably. It happened in uh, UK as well. So spam meters are like, think about uh, old times, uh, stone age of internet. People are sending each other, forwarding each other strange mails. And those mails are about super valuable, super game-changing elements. Uh, most of us, most of them, of course, uh, made of stuff, but the real thing is they, whoever they are, uh, are preventing us to use these such valuable resources, right? So, Torium indeed was part of this uh, gang, uh, spam matters. Uh, interestingly, before 2007, Torium was about a uh, gossip, like, uh, we are not able to do that, uh, remove that thorium because of our incapability. But in 2007, something happened and it turned, it, uh, it took a, a strange turn into a conspiracy angle. What happened was actually a little bit tragic because a top scientist, famous a particle physicist at the time in Turkey, Hengin Aruk, uh, died in a plane crash going to a thorium related conference. So uh, it was enough for Torium uh, become a, a subject to a conspiracy almanac uh, of Turkey. Anyway, that also inspired a, a young man uh, making up this story of Torium and put it into a very popular website named Ekşi Sözük in Turkey. So it was nonsense, but at the same time, uh, it didn't work very well. And uh, the first days, like a couple of thousand followers, but that was all. It was lost in dark corners of internet until in 2011, uh, it started again by a very low quality, silly video by the same guy. And this uh, video, this time, uh, acquiring some clips and styles from the zeitgeist and earthlings uh, 
it went viral somehow. The video was uh, utter nonsense. It was talking about such techno bubble nonsense science, uh, science stuff about crackle, uh, crackled nuclei, one over X rays, or like uh, neutralizing real X rays, beneficial ra radiation, whatever it is. Another claim was like contouring is purple or pink. So the Judas tree, characteristic tree of Bosphorus is, this is how they find contorium in the Bosphorus. Uh, and also Turkey has been specifically given 90 telephone code because 90 is the atom number of contorium. <laughs> and these sinister people are all after the contorium. They are undertaking a bridge construction business in Bosphorus. Why? Because obviously there is a bridge, international bridge building law signed in Brussels and it provides the necessary loophole. And yeah, this is a great story for Igor. Uh, there is a guy, <laughs> Mendeleev, he's a very smart person, but secretly Turkish from the father's side. <laughs> so he likes Turkey, he wants to help, help Turkey, uh, but at the same time he was pressured to leave the uh, 90th slot blank. He put thorium into, into that as a breadcrumb for us, future generation. Of course, this is very super important because super secretive because contouring was very important for Russians as well. And of course, we are taking every conspiracy bingo boxes and including Bill Gates. Apparently, at some point, Bill Gates decides to lift this con file restriction and see what happens to his New York offices at the time. Anyway, the early reaction was uh, incredibly sur surreal. People was offering activism, uh, help for activism. People were like, uh, you are undermining the ser serious national issue or they are undermining the serious in uh, national issue but by injecting some humor to the topic. Uh, and at the end, author tried to pull the plug and uh, try to end this madness, uh, but it was too late. It was, uh, it was become some sort of urban legend. In 2018, uh, a uh, conspiracy poll, 34% of the people like uh, find it valid for an idea like contouring being hidden under Bosphorus. And uh, this is not going to indicate any belief, uh, but it probably shows something about the impact. And by the way, uh, it fade out, but still popping up uh, sometimes uh, in the mainstream, like sometimes a politician took debate, sometimes a columnist, and sometimes this guy in a street interview just a few months ago about elections, he was talking about contorium. And the name was given to uh, this racehorse, winning racehorse, and a shopping ball. <laughs> it's still floating around uh, the popular culture. Last question is why this, is, this has happened? Why such a ridiculous parody became something huge deal? One reason, it was resonating very well with every side of the aisle. Uh, for a top runner, you, here is a great excuse for why we are not leaping forward, why we are not being successful, we are, because they are holding us back. For the underdogs, this was definitive proof for the top level, top runners, are holding hands with conspirators, or they are simply uh, incapable. Another thing is, it is uh, very compliant with the belief bias because, you know, it supports the basic narrative of uh, we have potential, we, have, we are a great country, but things are not going well with us because they are holding us back. And lately, uh, you know, it's social media. If something is shared in mainstream by many people, it must be true. If shared by a friend, it must definitely be true. And yes, that's the contorium. And the, of course, the first question is the classical one. Yes, I have a dog. Yes, she is Luna. And thank you. Thank you so much, sir. That was fantastic. Uh,
So we've had loads of questions come in already. Uh, so the first one comes from Anonymous, which is, what do you think Contorium will be used for in the future? Ah, uh, that's... Uh, the author gives some hints. Uh, of course, many of them hidden, uh, but it's going to be uh, groundbreaking uh, nuclear fossil, uh, nuclear fossil fuel or something to protect uh, electromagnetic pulses from our... E no, from... Cellular phones, yeah, something like that. Yeah, it's very quite useful, yeah. Sounds fantastic, can't wait for it to be available. By the way, its value was $17 trillion in the first days, then jumped to 22, 23, 25. Uh, last time it was $29 trillion. Excellent. <laughs> Uh, so the next question we've got is uh, also from Anonymous. Is the Contorium being mined behind the ice wall on the flat earth? Ah. <laughs> it was probably related, uh, but no. Uh, I mean, Bosphorus is not flat, you know, so it must not be flat. Hang on, that's news. <laughs> uh, so the next question comes from James. Uh, did Turkey ever have the pe petrol pill urgen le urban legend? The idea that there's a pill that can turn water into petrol being hidden by the oil companies? No, we have Contorium for that. <laughs> So we're going to go on to the last question now. Uh, we're going to call back to last year's talk. Did the fake birds cause the plane crash in 2007? Uh, fake birds, not fake birds, but I think that those birds spying on us from say, Israel. Well, birds aren't, birds aren't, <laughs> yeah. we all know that birds aren't real. Birds that's, are clearly uh, government drones that are... That's probably the reason. <laughs> Perfect. Lovely. Thank you very much, Serdar.